Hey there and welcome, my name is Carlos Barrett and let's start talking about what has been going on in the indie tabletop RPG scene. And as always, I'm not being directly sponsored by anyone mentioned here unless explicitly said or mentioned otherwise. Some links, they may be affiliate links so that they can benefit me without cost you anything extra and other links, they will be in the description together with some timestamps so that you can jump to the point of your preference. And we start with Latin American Tabletop RPG Bundle. A bundle put together by the RPG Latin scene for each creator day and beyond so that it's still going on, it's not just for each creator day that was last Friday. RPG Latam is the Latin American tabletop RPG scene. If you are not yet familiar with it, we should you should check out because there are some amazing creators in it. And the bundle brings plenty of titles that were already mentioned here, but you can now have all these titles by Misha Panorim, for example, Lucas Rolim, Armanda, Guax, Alice, and many more other creators for 69% off. You have if it's not like enough that this is a very good place to also start with the indie scene. Here you can become magical girls or a pirate crew, a cool animals, a cur or cursed people, or even an AI trying to save humanity from its imminent destruction, or even a fancy ch chef trying to win a reality show. There are so many opportunities and you will certainly find a game that strikes your fancy. So check it out. And talking about trying different games, the Get Into TTRPGs bundle is making 73 games available by uh, for 25 bucks actually. They are mostly games that are easy to learn and easy to teach from a very wide variety of styles and genre. You still have two weeks to check it out and they also have some suggestions on the page of interesting games that fit the idea but weren't included because of differences or difficulties that they, they found out. But it's a very good place to start and try to explore different games or even bring someone into TTRPGs. Next is another bundle on each, but this time by Bats, a creator that we mentioned here plenty of times already. Bats is facing some financial difficulties due to having to move and this bundle is on is a sale of their titles actually. So you can get plenty of their title for at least 50% off or all the bundle for 70% off and also help someone in hardship. It's every time it's a bonus to have this opportunity to help someone. Since we are technically still on Zen Month, let's talk about some crowdfunding campaigns and the first one of them being Xeno Archaeology by Armanda, a member of RPG Latam that we mentioned before. In this solo TTRPG, you play the leading investigator or archaeologist on a deep excavation mission on another planet. You are trying to find details on the last living people on Atis by cataloging their remains, making sure that everything that you find and all the evidence are proper to use in a lab and whatnot that involves this investigation, this archaeological investigation. And in the end, hopefully you have formulated a hypothesis. This sounds really cool, a very good uh, idea for a solo tabletop RPG. So I really think that you should check it out. It's probably already funded by now or close to it. So but you still have plenty of time to check it out. We also have The Lost and the Gem by So Muppet, which is crowdfunding on their project, uh, actually in their own platform. And I condone everyone that is trying crowdfund on their own platform because it is a huge move. It is a very different way of trying to do it because of the big Kickstarter account uh, that is the crowdfunding platform for everyone. So this pre-order will go up to mid-March. The game itself is a three-stat high lethality dungeon crawling game and it is filled with esoteric firearms, gunslingers and high caliber monsters. In it, you will play as wanderer, mercenaries and adventurers through a world hanging by a thread, where the blighted lands is all that remain from the old kingdom. It's a very good premise and I can really picture already some adventures that I want to have in this game. And last crowdfunding for today is One Particular Harbor by Siren Song Games. But One Particular Harbor is actually 14 minigames. It is gemless and requires no prep. And the idea 
is to use them to tell the story of your characters and their factions, making connections, uh, messy connections perhaps, or intimate connections, or none of them actually, like, fights, they can be violent or not, the options will be on your hand and how you make these connections and how you deal with your allies and actually also your enemies. Perhaps this is the time to romance that enemy, that villain, who knows? Okay, check it out. On gems, let's talk about the Saturday morning carton gem that is up until March 22nd. In it, you can submit any game or material for a game that is based on your favorite childhood cartoons. This is focused on tabletop RPGs or tabletop games, but any medium is actually fine. As mentioned also in the platform for the, the gem, don't fret if anyone is working on something from the same inspiration as you. You have different visions, you have different memories, you will explore it different. And having multiple games of something you enjoyed and you like is even better than having only one, okay? So don't fret if someone is having the same inspiration as you, go for it, create that title and submit to the jam. An interesting milestone that happened is that across RPGC, RPGC itself is the Southeast Asian tabletop RPG scene, and across RPGC is a platform that tries to compile different titles from RPGC so that it can be useful and easy for anyone to try and explore it. And they are having their first anniversary. And it is also presented with an interesting thread about what the Across RPG C is and the goal of the platform. We already had Bianca Momatos, the creator of it, here on the in the news. It was our first interview with them and they really are amazing. But this thread also describes what their goal with the platform and the scene was. Okay, check it out and check the games from RPG C as well. For this week, I believe that's it. If you like the video, like the damn video, share, subscribe. You know how internet works. Let me know in the comments what you are liking about the series, disliking about it, what you liked about the episode as well, or dislike as well. You can pay me a coffee on coffee. You can buy my games on itch.io. You can find me on different social medias. And I will see you all in my next video. So, see ya!